Nation, what's up? I'm Trini Sanderson. You're tuning into the infamous Living Realm Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. Now I got something that's gonna really help you magnify the law of attraction times 10. Because I'm gonna tell you five manifestation failures. Five reasons as to why manifestation might not be working for you. You know, things might not be coming into your life the way you want them to, as fast as you want them to. So I got five manifestation failures that I'm going to tell you about. Pay close attention, guys. Pay close attention because I know this is some good stuff. I know you're going to love it. Make sure that you're still saying, I am worry-free. I am worry-free. If you ain't say I am worry-free today, say it with me right now. Say, I am worry-free. Okay. All right. I'm trusting in you. All right, so the first manifestation failure is don't seize the opportunity. A lot of people don't seize the opportunity when things manifest. I've seen it so many times. Like I've seen people tell me exactly what it is that they want to attract, you know, the thing that they want to manifest. And then when they get around them or when it actually comes into their life, they get scared. Like, oh, I don't want it. I don't want it, man. I can't do this. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's kind of like when a dude proposes to a woman, you know, that moment of, of like just uncertainty. She's like, and it's absolutely normal because, you know, us taking on things that are new versus what we're used to, it's kind of hard to accept new things, you know, and it's just a human thing. That's a natural human instinct that we have. So make sure that when you attract things into your life and it starts to come into your life, you got to seize the opportunity, folks. You got to make sure that you hop on it. You got to jump on it real quick, okay? Because like I said, if you don't jump on the opportunity for a sense of fear, you know, just because you're just scared because you don't know what to expect once you do seize the opportunity, you know, it's going to take a long time for it to manifest again. Y'all know how slow the universe work, right? <laughs> I mean, but it does work fast at the same time if it sees that you are gladly accepting all the things that you're manifesting. Number two reason why manifestation may fail is simply because people don't use the affirmations enough. You know, they don't say, I am enough. I am this. I am that. I am this. I know people that probably say affirmations like one or two times because they told me that they said them like one or two times. I'm like, no, you got to continue to say it every day, all the time. You got to say, I am word free. Every time a negative thought comes up, I am word free. I am word free. I am speak to the universe. Y'all got to get in the habit of speaking to the universe. I mean, like I said, you're going to have a lot of people that think you crazy. You might find yourself walking around the house speaking to the universe. You know, you might find yourself feeling like, you know what? It, I'm doing a little too much of this affirmation stuff, but no, that's the right way to do it because what you're doing is you're filling your conscious mind up with the fact that you already have it. Everything is within, folks. And I know that sounds bizarre, but that's the absolute truth. Everything that you want to desire out here in the outer world is within. The outer world only shifts and, and changes according to what you're ready for. You know, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. You know, when you're ready for something to come into your life, you get it. When you're ready for that wife, she shows up in manifestation and you have to seize the opportunity when she comes. Number three, the third manifestation failure is, it's what I know a lot of people do all the time, just a bunch of talk and never act. You know, there's a scripture that I used to remember growing up and I say for without works is dead. This scripture is so true. You have to make sure that you act on these things that you want to create for yourself. I know so many people, they want to do this. They want to go here. They want to do that. But you never see them do nothing. It's like, when you going to actually get out here and make the initiative to do what it is that you want to accomplish? Like, I've been, I've been waiting on you to do it, but I'm a friend. I love you, friend. I love you, but you are really boring me out. And you really aggravate me because I'm tired of hearing your dream goals, but you never doing nothing. Come on, let's work together. Let's raise this money. Let's get this thing together so we both can do this dream goal. You know, and so you got to get in the habit of acting, folks, acting, 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 making moves, 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 moves. You know what I mean? I done got so good at that. It's actually starting to show in results in my life. Like for so long, man, I've been the type of guy that I'm the initiative taker. You know, like when I think of something, I apply it. Like when I hear something that a teacher teaches, you know, and I'm listening to him, I apply it to my life immediately. 
you know, that's a quick way to success, folks. If you are able to apply what you know immediately, there is no possible way you won't shift the atmosphere around you, you know, with things that you want to manifest into your life. So make sure that you're always acting more than you're talking. Fourth manifestation failure is distractions. I know a lot of people who want to manifest things in their life, but they're simply just distracted by the small things. You know, they can't get over Danny. Oh my God, Danny is so fine that they can't even find time for their own dreams. It's like, Danny first, Danny, Danny first. Baby, I thought you, I, I thought you wanted to travel. I thought you wanted to go all around the world. You can't be work. Danny don't want to go nowhere. He want to stay in the hood. You can't, come on now. He got to be over there. You got to be over here. You understand what I'm saying? You, you got to get this money. You know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure that you don't be distracted by the little small petty things. If you know there's things you want to attract into your life, all the things that you used to do that was holding you up from manifesting whatever it is that you want to manifest in, you got to make sure that you give that less time and focus on your vision more than anything. Because the whole objective is to stay focused. You got to continue to have that tunnel vision for what it is that you want to attract. And last but not least, the fifth manifestation failure is what I, I tend to do from time to time. And I have to get better at doing it because you got to create a sense of non-resistance in order to attract this stuff. Is thinking about it way too much. You, you can't think about the manifestation, the thing that we want to law of attract. You can't think about it like way too much, like overthinking, like, oh, I got to do this. I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to do it. You got to be able to live like two folks. You know, I, I do this YouTube stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I love doing it. And sometimes I find myself thinking about it too much. But you know what I do very well? And a lot of my friends can tell you this. I live my life at the same time. Like you would not be able to tell I'm a big YouTuber outside of YouTube. You know, you, you won't be able to tell that I talk about the things I talk about here on the Infamous Living Room Network if you knew me outside of here. You know what I mean? You'd just probably be like, look at this guy right here. Look at this little cat. Think he cool. You know, look at this little cat right here. Ooh, he got swag, though. He got swag. I'll be like, yeah, yeah, but you don't know me. You don't, you don't know what I do, though. You don't know what I do. I got brains. I, I, I got brains. I got, I got brains. I got brains. You don't know about that, though. You don't know about that, though. Woo, it's hot, it's hot in here, y'all. It's hot in here. It's so into it when I be making these videos. I just be so into it. I just start sweating, right? <laughs> now, nah, seriously, if you want to really attract this stuff to you, you have to make sure you create non-resistance. So in order to create this non-resistance, you have to be certain that you are going to receive what you want to receive while at the same time not thinking about it. I know that sounds so crazy, but it is so needed if you want to attract and manifest whatever it is that you want to attract and manifest into your life you have to know without a doubt you already have it and you have to act as though you already have it and you can't act as though you really want it and you can't think about it and that is the trick on how to manifest things into your life so these are the five manifestation failures i hope that this resonated with you if this resonated with you make sure you press the thumbs up button folks new subscribers what is up what is up i see y'all subscribing make sure you speak up let your voice be heard leave a nice comment below i want to get to know who you are also you can add me on instagram that's the social network that i'm most active on other than youtube in the meantime guys i'll see you in the next 24 hours Peace.